Hey, do you remember No Man's Sky? Well, just in case you don't, let's go back to late 2013. Do not go in there. Woo! Okay, poor choice of words, anyway. Back in December of 2013, a trailer for No Man's Sky was released, and people thought it looked pretty freaking cool, especially considering there was only a small indie studio behind it named Hello Games. Interviews were done, hype was generated, and this guy kept telling press outlets all the cool stuff they wanted to put into their game. And then finally, in 2016, the game launched. Hell, we never even see these lazy no, ass outside of their one games, specific really. placement inside Hell, buildings. Why are they fucking move? fight each other? Why, why aren't they walking around? Now, I'm not gonna go into all the reasons why the game at release was so much less than what was promised. Sony and investor pressure on the studio, a rushed release date, and a small studio over-promising and under-delivering, none of these reasons made the game any less disappointing to fans upon release. The game was a broken, buggy, shallow mess that made Sean Murray and Hello Games the laughingstock of the internet for a while. If you go back and look at the top posts from the official No Man's Sky subreddit at that time, you can get a pretty good idea on the consensus for this game. And yet, if you scroll through the top posts of all time, you're going to get a lot more recent posts unabashedly praising this game and its developers. You see, instead of just taking the 9.8 bajillion dollars they got from pre-orders of this game and booking it, Hello Games has been consistently updating and fixing their game since release. These sometimes absolutely massive free updates have turned the game from an underbaked mess into a game that is even more interesting than what was promised in the trailers that got everyone so hyped in the first place. But that's not really what this video is about. Go watch Internet Historian's video on the topic if you want to learn more about that aspect of the game. No, this video is more specifically about why this game is so important to me, why it's important enough to break my almost month streak of not uploading again. No Man's Sky did a lot of things for me. It drove my curiosity, it got me to explore, it got me to feel, it got me to love video games again for the first time in a long time. And I want to talk about it. And it's my YouTube channel, so you can't stop me, dad. Don't know why I called my dad out like that. He's not trying to stop me. <laughs> so, ladies, gentlemen, and fellow travelers alike, let's talk about the incredible universe of No Man's Sky. So, for the five people who still don't know, what is No Man's Sky? In short, you are a traveler, or maybe the traveler, depending on how you want to see yourself in the narrative. You fly around a procedurally generated universe and explore a ton of procedurally generated solar systems and planets, cataloging your discoveries and upgrading your equipment along the way. Obviously, there's a lot more to the game than that, but that's basically the core of your whole experience. And that all leads to me downloading the game a couple weeks ago. I saw it on Game Pass for PC, and I'd heard that the game had improved a lot since its original controversial release. I wasn't sure what to expect really, I mean, I knew that it was all about exploring procedurally generated planets and stuff, but I didn't know what all there was in the game or even if I'd like it. And then within 3 days I'd clocked up over 18 hours of playtime and forgotten to eat food. I was not prepared for how deeply I would get engrossed into this game. No Man's Sky grabbed me for a couple reasons. The story, yes there is a story in this game, tends to walk the line between interesting and obtuse, and it's pretty engaging overall. There's a cool feature where you slowly learn alien languages in order to better communicate and trade with the alien races you meet. You can collect resources in order to upgrade your equipment and build bases, and the combat is... Uh, well, the combat is actually kinda crap. 
<laughs> Seriously, I've used water guns that pack more of a punch than these things. What do I even have to fight in this game? I haven't even seen. Oh God. But none of these things are what kept me coming back. No, what kept me constantly fascinated with this game was the joy and satisfaction I found in discovering and exploring the crazy, hostile, and beautiful worlds this game creates. Like I said, No Man's Sky uses procedural generation, it uses this to create a literal universe with functionally infinite amount of planets and solar systems to discover. Each planet is a different beast entirely. Some are barren wastelands with no life at all, some are lush and teeming with random plants and wildlife, some are utterly inhospitable hell holes, some are flat, some are mountainous, some have atmospheres so thick they're like soup and some have none at all, and some planets are just plain weird. And they're all beautiful in their own way. The hostile and unlivable nature of some of these planets just makes the lush and more welcoming ones so much more incredible and weirdly enough, vice versa. There were just so many points in my journey where I would just stop exploring, stop mining, stop looking for materials, and just take in the experience. No one else had ever been here. No one else had ever stepped on this planet, seen what I'd seen. It's not like they couldn't. Players can and do stumble over each other's planets from time to time, but they hadn't. I had discovered this place, its plants, its terrain, its wildlife. I was probably the only one who would ever take in this exact view, or see this exact sunrise, or see this exact animal, or wander over this exact mountain range. And thinking about that, that's when I started to realize what this game was doing so right, at least for me. It was making me feel things. Okay, that probably sounds dumb, let me explain. Yahtzee, famous internet sweary video game man, once made a joke about separating games into two separate groups. Games that make you feel, and games that make you numb. But for me the split has always been thus. Games that make you feel, versus games that make you numb. Some games challenge and energize your emotions and give you ideas and inspiration, whereas other games seek only to massage your rodent brain with repetitive pats to the head so you don't think dangerous thoughts, like I wish my landlord wouldn't keep coming into my house and eating all my family's pie. I wrote it off as a joke when I heard it, but over these past few months I've realized that it's kinda true. So many of the games that I've been playing recently have fallen into the latter category for me. Warframe, Destiny 2, Warzone, The Division, Valorant, these are all great, fantastic games in their own right and I'll probably make some videos on them later. But over these past few months they've really settled me into a lull. I would just boot up the game mindlessly, not really engaging with its content other than on a pure moment to moment gameplay basis, just trying to earn the next slightly different reward or tier on the battle pass. So many games these days try to make themselves a live service or a hobby or structure the rewards and monetization systems in such a way that you have to play it like a job in order to get the most out of it. It's gotten to the point where I've actively chosen to not play games that I knew I would probably enjoy because my brain had me endlessly grinding the same games for the same rewards that I would barely use. It's like I was just filling out a checklist. And that isn't true here. I don't feel like I'm just playing or going through No Man's Sky, I feel like I'm actively engaging and experiencing it. I can complain about fiddly crafting or some bugs or the occasional performance issues all I want, this game is by no means perfect, but at the end of the day, I feel something playing this game. Trust me, I'm sure in time this will fade, one day I'm sure I'll boot up the game and get bored, get used to its systems and its sights, and move on to other things. And that's okay. But for right now, in a stressful and confusing time where so often we can feel trapped and helpless, it's incredible to be able to explore, to discover, to have curiosity and wonder what lies just over the horizon. You know, in like a good way and not in a terrifying way, oh gosh the future is scary. Not just because it's a fun game, created and resurrected by a dedicated and passionate development team, though it is both of those things, but because it showed me how much more video games can be than what they've been for me recently. Yes, they are still an escape, but they don't have to be one that makes you numb. They can be one that makes you feel, brings you joy, and just maybe makes you a little bit better. This time they're going for uh, for cheese. 
and they're saying this is going to be very likely the cheesiest video you're ever going to have ever and you know there's no written declaration but that's what that that's what's being implied that once you go here this is past the point of no return right it does not get cheesier than this oh whatever it's a nice sentiment at least Hi everyone, thanks so much for watching. Um, dang, like eight or nine months now, huh? Since I uploaded, that's, whew, that's rough. Um, don't know why you guys are all still sticking around here and haven't immediately smashed that unsubscribe button harder than a, uh, something. I don't, but, uh, thanks for, thanks for sticking around. Um, good news about playing this game is that it's actually led me to wonder what other games I've been missing out on. So I've been playing some other really cool stuff other than just the five games that I used to cycle between. So, I mean, hopefully I'll make some videos on those soon, but I mean, I promised that before, so don't get your hopes up. Anyway, if you somehow ended up liking this video, uh, like the video. And if you want to see more stuff that I make once every lunar cycle, uh, no, wait, that's a month, isn't it? It's longer than that. <laughs> anyway, if you want to see more of the stuff I make, just hit subscribe and you'll, uh, you'll see when I upload it. Um, anyway. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys next time.